Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to modify this window. Um, so this is sliding window from uh, Autodesk uh, library. So let's open it for now. So go to Windows folder and then this is it. And then we are going to, uh, let, let me just go to elevation exterior. So we're going to make this panel. So this sorry this one so this panel so if i go to 3d view and you will see this one so we're going to make this panel overable okay so so first i'm going to just i'm going to try to move it and see if there's any concern on this panel so okay good so there's no constraint Okay, so the next step, I'm going to, uh, let me just control Z to move it back to where it was. So now I'm going to, so see this point, this reference line. So this will be the starting point. So what I'm going to do is I'll just draw a reference plan and do a dimension from this to this reference plan. Okay, so this, and we can create a parameter. Um, I'll call it, uh, maybe OFS instance and OK. So this will be used to control the panel. So now I'm going to just move this panel to here to onto this reference line. Oh, sorry, reference plan. And I'll use a line and lock to this edge. So now I'm going to try. OK, so if I move this and you will see it will only uh, move this edge and make this frame wider so this is not what we we want so what we need is we need a constraint we need to give uh, a dimension to the frame so let's do it so edit here so what we need is we need a dimension from this sketch to this sketch okay so let's do a di so if i pick uh hell uh, hell how it looks like so you need to be very careful because there's also something else something behind this sketch there's a the edge of the glass so if you move your cursor on here it will say a uh, sketch line reference right and if you move to here it gives you the see the 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 glass so can you see it glass it's covered by my cursor glass extrusion so it's actually picking the glass it's not picking the sketch so if i tab and now this time it, it's picking the sketch line so make sure you're picking the sketch line okay so now we have this dimension and we can lock it so now uh, we're going to do the same so di so so you will see this is the glass extrusion so this is not uh, what you want to pick so tab sketch line reference so this is it and the same this one's what's this glass tab sketch line okay so now this is it and then lock so now you your the frame the width of the frame will stay at this number so now if we finish this and now let's try okay so if i move this so use my keyboard to the left and you see you will see um it's still not right but this time the whole the frame uh, goes to the left so we just need to add some more constraint here so let, let me just control z and to um another constraint here this this uh a lot of different way to do it so you can use the panel width so for example you add another reference plan here and use the panel the panel width um, you can calculate this from the whole width um, and also you can add another reference plan here but use um, i think let me try to wireframe okay so and I think you can use so because when this uh, panel is closed, so this 
maybe this edge will be here, right? So we can just use another reference plane here and do a dimension to here. So this dimension will be the same of this one. Okay, so this, they are, uh, these are different ways. So one is use the use the width of this panel and do a dimension from this one to this. So let me just add a dimension, uh, sorry, reference plane here. Okay, so what we are going to do is uh, let's try um, which which method do you prefer? Maybe let's use the panel width. Okay, so add a dimension here. So this will be the panel width, and let's have a look of all the dimensions here. So it looks like there's no half panel, also I mean half window width here anywhere. So which means we need to do it ourselves. So let's just select this dimension and create, um, I'll call it a single panel width, okay? So, and I think type, yeah, type. Okay, so how do we get this? So it will be, so if you imagine, if you move this panel to here and this frame will stop in the middle. So which means the panel width equals um, equals uh, half. I think equals the full width minus one the width of this frame and divide by two. Okay, so let's uh, actually. I I don't think there's any parameter for the width of this for the frame so what i'm going to do is i'll just do a dimension to this one so i guess this will be the fixed uh width so i'll just use so 44.45 i'll go to for family types so go find that uh, here so this one it will be the formula will be uh, let me just hang on let me just drag this back a little bit so we can see the whole thing Okay, so the formula will be the width. Oh hell, I'll just need to make sure the width is correct as from from this to this. So where's the width? Um, it's not here. Maybe it's in the floor plan. Yeah. Okay. So let's have a look. The width start from here. So actually, there's we need to minus minus uh this thickness as well okay yeah so with minus two times 90 so two times this and it will be the 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 clear clear width of of the panels and then we need minus another width of the frame okay so let's do it go to family types so go a single panel with minus um, 19.05 we can we can just do this minus 19.05 minus 44.45 minus uh, that's it in the bracket bracket divide by two and apply and okay so now let's go to uh, go to exterior, and you will see this is the panel width. Okay, so now we can we can AL align this to this and lock. So now if I change this change this offset, so if I go to offset and type in zero, apply. Oh, hang on. it looks like we uh, instead of minus here we need to, to add sorry my bad apply yeah yeah that's that's better so now let's have a look in 3d view so this is this is the so maybe change the scale so yeah that's better maybe shade okay so let's have a test so offset um where's my offset here so 100 yeah 
200. I think, oh hell, looks like, see this one? Because there's no constraints, so sometimes this extrusion, so this edge, will just follow some, some edge here. So we just need to go to, um, so easiest way, we can just edit extrusion to just check, oh, it's actually locked onto that edge. That's fine, we can just unlock this one, and we can just align and tab, use this edge. Okay, so lock this and lock, and then that's it. So now, now we've aligned and locked, so it won't follow this panel. Okay, so let's have a test, another test. So it will be go back to zero. Yeah, good. Uh, 100. Okay, it's 400. And actually, so let me show you. So if you use, so for number 600, so it, it will break, it will break, you, uh, the, the, win, uh, the window will go into the wall. So what we need, we can do is we can um, create a, another parameter to, to make sure, so this offset won't um, be um, larger than a certain distance okay so now let's let's do it so uh, i'll just change this to zero for now so okay and we're going to create a new parameter so this one ofs maybe i'll just call it uh, ofs2 <laughs> okay so an instance and okay so for os uh, ofs2 so i'm going to use if condition so if if OFS um, is larger is bigger than um, bigger than so it will be the maximum offset will be from here to here right so this will be the half so it will be a single panel with minus one of the frame so we can use this. So if OFS uh, is larger than single panel with minus uh, the the frame with which is forty four point four five in in this uh, family. So and then we just equ it will equal the OFS two equals OFS. So otherwise it will be single panel with minus 44.45 so which means if if the offset is smaller than the panel width it will go um, exactly what you know uh, oh, actually how we need to go to exterior and change this offset to offset 2 okay okay so What's happening here? Yeah, I think that's okay. So let's have a look in 3D view. So now if we go to family, uh, if, oh, sorry, I did it wrong again. So smaller, apply, yeah, we're good. So now uh, if I use 100, it was what you call uh, 100, 300, 300, and then the single panel width is this, and if I type in 500, it will stay. So um, this is okay. So it's just overlapping. That's fine. It will stay here. So this will be the maximum offset. Okay. So I think that this is it. So uh, we used an existing Windows, and also uh, depending on how you model Windows, this. Uh, this method might not work so so and also um, sometimes it's easier to model a family from scratch so anyway so if you have any question please let me know let's just have another try for from zero 200 300 okay that's it 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.